Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick All O'Clock, with another package from Bricklink.com. Alright, so I'm very excited about this order, not just because it's got wonderful Lego pieces in it, that's often the case on a Brick Hall, but because uh, it should have the final pieces that I need for... Yep, that's everything. Uh, a very interesting train mock. I can see a few of them already. So, let's uh, start with this bag, just at random. This seems to be an absolute load of tiles. Now, the majority of these, as you can see, are light bluish grey. And the majority of those are these corner ones. And they're just at a good price. I use all these shapes uh, on my pavements and sidewalks. So, whenever I see them at a good price, some three long ones, uh, I tend to buy them. Uh, and there's a few other random bits in there as well, so that's good. Here's some stickered pieces it looks like, so there's a bit of detail in here. Now this one I haven't seen before, uh, and it's quite an interesting one with two pizza slices on and two prices. And that's actually from um, uh, a friend set, 41058 Heart Lake Shopping Mall. And I've got a few stickers from that now I think actually. But uh, this is a good one that I can add to my, I don't know, pizza van or my pizza restaurant when I do that, which will be above the uh, turtles lair. So that'll be good. And talking of that, I think the uh, build that will be above the turtle lair will be a city pizza, uh, just a bricks and mortar type restaurant. So that will be very good for the signage there. I've got one of these already um, because it comes from the 60026 town square set. Um, but having another one will be good because I always like to have one main sign on the front and then maybe another second sign sort of on a side or something like that because you uh, rarely get business with only one sign on it. Uh, and then we've got a couple of pizza boxes. So these also say City Pizza and they're actually from that uh, recent pizza van, the 60150. Uh, and I can move these quite easily using my patented hot tea technique uh, but uh, they'll be great because most of these pizza places do a sort of takeout service as well so I'll probably have a takeout hatch maybe or something like that and have uh, a guy on a motorbike or something like that to uh, be delivering them as well uh, and I've got loads of these one by four tiles as well the sticker isn't important I'm probably just going to take off those stickers uh, and keep them just in case I need them one day but I'm using them just for normal 1x4s they're actually cheaper uh, than ones without a sticker weirdly uh, and here's a nice uh, 1x2x2 brick and orange with the arctic logo on this was in a few sets I think but uh, arctic base camp 60036 was one of them and I just want to get a load of these because I'm going to do a big sort of arctic uh, set up in due course and it's quite nice to have uh, these stickers uh, in advance of doing that and then I've got a cheese wedge slope can't remember exactly what that's for then we've got some bags of cheap pieces so I've got loads of little flower pieces in uh, bright green these are the sort of uh, ones I used to hold flowers on like I did just uh, recently uh, for my um, hospital build to hold the flowers in place Here's some more. Got loads. I've probably got enough now. I probably should stop buying all these um, Friends star pieces that I'm going to use the other way up as uh, daffodil flower pieces. So I've probably got enough. I just keep buying them because they're always really cheap. They're always like a penny each or something. So I think, yep, go on. I'll have some more. Uh, so I've probably got too many now. One ski pole. That's just to make a pair, I think. Got a head here. That's kind of a goofy sort of child type face. That's from the uh, iconic Easter Bunny hut set, 5005249. I think that was a free with purchase type thing. And I've got two quite interesting torsos here. They're from Blacktron, which was kind of like an old sort of space theme. Uh, yeah, and they're looking quite good condition, I think. So one of the sets they would have come with was 6933 Spectral Star Guider. Yeah, and they're really nice. Uh, I don't mind the black sleeves on the white torso. I think that looks good, but I'll probably change the black hands out for yellow hands, and it'll just look like kind of a sweatshirt top or maybe even a t-shirt with uh, long sleeves. 
Um, and then I can use those in different places in the city. I'm not going to have them as sort of any space connection. They'll just be, uh, you know, people wearing a shirt out and about in town. I've got some more fun looking pieces here. I've got a gold sword. And shall I tell you? Yeah, go on then. I was going to give that gold sword to my gold statue, maybe. So if I have a statue that needs a sword to sort of hold aloft, then that can be that. Got some more heads. Let's put these in a tower. Right. Oh, golly, he looks very aggressive on the top there. Oh, it's right. It's the same as that. So we've got two sides of the same one there. So he's uh, kind of a criminal. And then the one underneath is him having been hit by a uh, load of bees and got loads of bee stings because he's uh, hit a beehive. And that was uh, the sort of theme of what was going on in the Mountain Fugitive set 60171. So I got a couple of those because they're quite good faces, very angry and very, <laughs> well, I don't know, lumpy. <laughs> Uh, and then the bottom one is from the uh, Series 2 Circus Ringmaster. Uh, and I just love his tash and his eyebrows and his expression. So I'm definitely going to be able to use him. I mean, I've got that head already on that minifigure, but now I'll be able to use it somewhere else as well. So that's good. And then I've got a couple more of these wonderful sort of electric bolts in this pink colour. They're from the uh, set 75258 Anakin's Pod Racer. Uh, and as you'll probably know, I use those to make jellyfish. So this is one of the sort of builds I've got. And I already had two of these. This is why I had to get two more, because these will be the uh, tentacles coming off the bottom of this sort of uh, translucent dish piece and uh, other pieces. Now, I think the last piece I need is in one of the other bags. So I'll hover with those, see if I can see it. It might be in here. Ooh, let's tip these over here. So this looks like lots of small pieces, modified plates and so on. Not a great deal of interest. Here are the balls. I've got two of the balls that go on the um, tops of those telescope pieces on my uh, subway entrances uh, to act as light bulbs. Uh, I've got a couple of gold taps. They're very nice pieces, aren't they? Uh, ah, yes, I was right. There's that piece. So it's one of these uh, sort of four grabbers on a Technic sort of pinhole, for want of a better description. And I had one of these already, but I used it um, on my uh, Venus flydrop ride, so that will just clip on the bottom of there. And then I can add my four tentacles on now. I've kind of shown you this before. I've got some yellow tentacles as well, but now I've finally got the four pink ones. I can have loads and loads of different... Um, sea creatures in my underwater scene. So I think that looks absolutely great. I can arrange these a bit nicer. There we are. So you can have that sort of going off at an angle, sort of floating in midair. I think it looks brilliant. So there we go. That's that. Uh, I don't know what else there is to mention there. Fence piece, one of those rails. I needed that for my caboose uh, and I stole it from something else. So this is to replace where I stole it from. It's always the way, isn't it? Just when you need a certain piece, you haven't got it. <laughs> uh, then as usual, yeah, I've got more of these lime things for uh, an underground kelp forest. I think I'm going to need loads of these. That's why I keep buying them, because um, the area of undersea that I'm going to be doing isn't going to be very small. It's going to be potentially 20 base plates or something, because that's the whole area underneath my harbour. So if I'm going to have a kelp forest just filling one base plate, I probably need, I don't know, over 100 of these? I don't know. So there's loads of those and a couple of the uh, glow-in-the-dark ones that I'm going to use sort of in the same area but sort of spaced out so it just looks a bit varied. Loads of orange one-by-one one round plates for the special thing that I'm collecting all those coloured plates for. Uh, another bag, this time with lime. Yeah, loads more coloured one-by-ones. What am I using them for? Who knows? Uh, then we've got some tiles in sand green uh, for my subway entrances as well. I think I've got all the pieces now for my subway entrances, so I can build a couple more of those in the city. I won't do them all in the half of the city that I've done uh, to date. I do want some, you know, near the fairground sort of end of things, so uh, I won't be able to put them all in place just yet. Oh, now this is interesting. I've got a couple of these sort of new 
waxed sealed letter type pieces. They've only been in a couple of sets. There's the Barracuda Bay one that they're in. And they're also in uh, Harry Potter, Beau Baton's Carriage, 75958. Uh, so I haven't got any of these. They're kind of like legal letters or very old letters. I don't know, but um, they look quite fun anyway. And then I've got one of these clutch gears just to play around with. I'm doing more and more ride builds now. And basically what a clutch gear does is when it goes round and it meets a bit of resistance, uh, it just sort of spins without turning if that makes sense. Uh, so it won't cause any damage, because sometimes if uh, a ride meets a bit of an obstruction or something, it will kind of destroy itself as the motor keeps merrily chugging on um, while the ride has met an obstruction. So I'm hoping that will be useful. Uh, a couple more tiles on the angular ones. I think these are for my fountain, actually. Uh, this is my start of my fountain. I've got this weird cockpit piece, uh, and I just thought, you know, using these to kind of line that bottom bit with would be a bit more interesting. I've already got this kind of gold clamshell as well. I didn't get in this hall, but I got before. I kind of thought all that could end up being a water fountain that might look really quite good fun. I'll have to put another tile sort of covering these technic holes and stuff, but um, that's what that one's for actually. So that'll go kind of there. Yeah, so you can see what I'm going for. I don't know if it'll look good enough uh, by the end, but that's kind of what I'm playing with. So that's good fun. Yes, a parrot! Amongst all the strange things I collect in Lego, parrots is one of them. And I don't know why either, because I don't really do anything with them when I've got them, uh, apart from just sort of put them next to all the other ones. So I've got a yellow parrot. And there he is in all his glory. And he looks in good nick, so that's uh, good to see. Uh, this one was only in two sets, actually. One is uh, 5919, Valley of the Kings, which is an old adventurous set. So, yeah, I think I really like him. I think in those sets he was sort of supposed to be part of the treasure or something. I can't really remember. Um, yeah, but that's really good. There's a few more colours that I haven't got. And <laughs> the problem is they're getting increasingly expensive. And I'm not spending pounds on one piece. I'll only buy them when they're good value. Um, but uh, So that might be about the last one I can get that actually is good value, but I do very much like them. <laughs> right, and here looks like two bags of bricks that are coloured in a palette that you'll recognise. These are pretty much going to be what I need to finish a train mock that I think I'll be doing in Friday's video, um, which will be based on the passenger train 60197, the, the more recent one. So I've got loads of windows. Windows, windows, bright yellowish orange plates, some of these arch pieces. These pieces are quite interesting. They're kind of like end roof pieces. These were only available in one set. And that was the uh, Jungle Half Track Mission, 60159. Uh, that was a pretty cool set with a cool half track in the jungle, obviously. And it had a Black Panther and so on. But... um. I do quite like these roofs. So they were the, the sort of cab, uh, the roof of the cab of the half track. Um, but I thought they were really nice. So, yeah, maybe with my build, which I'll be doing on Friday, this will start off uh, a massive trend of buying these and they'll become uh, <laughs> very hard to get soon. Who knows? Uh, and then other bits and pieces, another window, loads more uh, plates in dark blue, which I'll need for that build. Yeah, some more. More bricks in dark blue. Ah, Now these windows are replacements for where I stole them from to make my caboose. <laughs> so black window frames. So they're technically for my caboose, but I've already built that. More roof pieces for the train and my train mock. Yes. Really looking forward to doing that now. So there's three more of those. What else we got? Windows few one by ones and some of these hinge bricks in brown that I was thinking of using to make uh, trees with just to make you know kind of movable branches basically uh, and even a two by two uh, roof tile that is for fast food corner and I really do think I've finished that now it's just to replace two uh, one by two ones um, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist so 
uh, these uh, these bricks aren't on bricks and pieces. Or actually, they are now. I think they've recently come back. Anyway, there we go. So a pretty good haul there, actually. I think uh, the highlights. Oh, one brick still in the bag. I think the highlights have got to be the yellow parrot, the finishing pieces for the jellyfish, and all these wonderful pieces that are going to be part of a mock, which will probably have to be on Friday because uh, I won't be able to wait any longer. But I do like these black tron torsos as well. So, uh, yeah, tell me which is your favourite piece. Uh, but I think that's a pretty good haul. <laughs> Well, all right, that was a pretty good haul with lots of uh, little vital pieces for lots of little vital projects and uh, all the pieces for a really big vital project as well. And I did actually forget to mention, because I didn't spot him at the time, this little white bird, which uh, comes with a few of the uh, recent sets, including 60250 mail plane. Uh, you can get the blue one on bricks and pieces, actually, but not the white one yet, uh, annoyingly. But uh, there we go. So... As always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, I think we'll be doing a mock train build for the passenger train 60197. See you then!